Welcome back. I'm GTGD and this is video 18, Animated Tiles. It's our last video in this series as well. So we're just going to end it on something nice and simple and easy and adds a, a nice visual effect to our project. Okay, I'm going to make a new layer in our uh, textures. So I'm just going to add this in here. What I'm going to do is to make some lines. Uh, vertical lines that go down the whole screen and then add some gaps in them and then basically make eight frames of that. So eight textures will represent eight frames. It'll be a bit of a choppy animation. So the more frames obviously you have, the smoother it's going to be. Now, how many lines? I'm going to put eight lines on the texture. So that means the gap needs to be six uh, pixels per line. And you calculate that by eight uh, times two wide for each line. So eight lines, two wide, 16 pixels. You take 64 minus 16, and then you divide that answer by eight, which is eight lines, and you'll get a gap of six. So yeah, that's, that's basically uh, how I figure out the gap. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put down these vertical lines at every six pixels. And I can figure out where that is by looking at the top left with the X. So at X equal eight with the cursor there, that is uh, actually um, then a six pixel gap. So I can just keep doing that. So the next one, yep, is 16. Uh, next one will be 24. Okay, 32, 40. 48 and 56 and finally the last one will be right at the edge and I'm going to move it over so just use the select tool grab it all and just move it to the left Okay, and that's nice and centered. That's done. Okay, time to add some gaps into this. I'm going to add some four millimeter, well, four uh, pixel gaps rather. And how it'll do, how I'll do it is I'll just start at the top here and I'm going to be staggering them. Uh, so every second line will have the same thing. I should have line gaps of the same length. So if I just move this down like eight pixels, uh, put a gap of eight, just very quickly do that. Once again, a gap of eight pixels. Uh, and just stagger that here. Once again, eight. Good. Then once again, doing it eight. Okay, and once again. All right, so that's it. So just delete this at the bottom. Okay, so that's our very first frame, and I better just uh, call it that. Waterfall frame one. And I need to duplicate that. Okay, so for waterfall frame two, all I'm gonna do is to take all of this and uh, just drag it down by eight pixels. So I can check whether that's eight yet, not yet. One more down and Y should equal to eight where, where I'm uh, putting my cursor. Now what I need to do next is I need to complete uh, the lines. So I will do that. And uh, well, a better, a better way is actually because they're all the same length, the lines, I want to select one of the, one of the complete ones and just simply paste it over uh, the incomplete ones. So I'll just quickly do that. So basically, yeah, it's gone downwards, our contents in our texture have gone down. And now I'm just uh, basically filling in the top here. And once again, I'll move it down. And that's what I'll just keep doing for each uh, frame. So yeah, pretty simple sort of stuff. And this is going to be called frame two. And let's duplicate that. Okay, now we're going to work on frame three. So let's just highlight all of that, bring it down eight as well. Just check, uh, no, that's Y nine, so that's too much. So Y uh, eight position, very good. And once again, I'll just grab one of these lines, copy paste it, and just fill in these. Okay, well, that didn't end up in the right place. Anyway, just put it here, keep pasting, just filling it in. I mean, you can use the line tool as well, I'm just doing this. Cause nice and easy. The size is more or less predefined. Okay, run some more. 
And it's a, yeah, and it's a, oh, oops, that one I didn't do quite right. I'll get the gap there correct in just a moment. Okay, and just use the delete tool. There we go and clean that up. Uh, okay, so I better just name this one too. So it's frame three and duplicate it. Turn off that one, turn on this one. And once again, just select it all and just move it down eight pixels. One more and go ahead and complete it. So once again, I'll just select this. Let's just start uh, completing these lines here. If you have a, I mean, if there's a texture that you can make that's better, I mean, I would recommend, yeah, you go ahead and do that. I'm doing mine as a sort of Ultima 4-ish, sort of inspired kind of uh, water texture. It's a little bit different, but inspired from that. So I'm going to call this one frame 4. And I think you get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, offline, just uh, go ahead and make the next four textures. So I'll just do that. Okay, so I just went ahead and advanced that. And then I've got eight uh, textures now all done. All eight frames are done. So I'm just going to go ahead and export. So each one just file downloaded as a PNG. Oh, actually, one important thing I'm forgetting. Before I go, I want to add a black background. So I don't want grass to be visible. So for all of them, all of the frames, so good thing I remembered. So I had forgotten that. So for all of them, I do want to add a black uh, background on it. So let's go ahead and fill each one. And I can just see what's happening here, even though it's not on, uh, I can see what's happening. Oh, and also, uh, when you're exporting your texture, what you need to do is make sure it is visible on the screen, right? It's visible, then go file, uh, download it. Okay. All right, so in Unity, I've got all of my waterfall textures there. I'm just going to change them all to like 64. Uh, usual thing, full rect, change it to trilinear and 64 max size and apply to all of them. Okay, now I need to make a new uh, tile. So I'm going to create a 2D tiles animated tile. I'm just going to call this waterfall. Okay, it needs me now to drop in all of these uh, sprites. So I've got eight. I'll just lock this to make my life a bit easier. I suppose I could I have just uh, just dragged it all in now like that and just dropped it in maybe not so oh well never mind so i'll just uh, drag each one in and then i'll go ahead and put the second one third one okay and you get the idea i mean the more you have the more you've got to slot in okay that's eight okay and i can add a minimum speed and a maximum i will do that so that way there's some variation between between them otherwise they're all moving at the same speed on the screen uh, so that's a waterfall done now what i'll do is i'll go add it into our tile set so i uh, just put it in there there we go so we can paint it in the project but i'll also go to our tile database and add a new element here and this is going to be our waterfall Okay, so that's it there. And the texture waterfall frame one, you can change that name. So it just says waterfall. Uh, it's obvious it's frame one anyway. So that way it doesn't show up. In fact, I'll I will just go ahead and do that. I'll just call it waterfall. Okay, and that way it'll appear in the game as waterfall. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, hit play. And let's go. There we go. I had a well, I had a previously done one. Uh, so it's recognized that uh, actually I had a save file which already had on another project which had the waterfall in it. And so it's just picked that up as that's the correct tile to apply. So that's pretty neat too. But anyway, I can go ahead and just put uh, something like here. As you can see, I've got this waterfall uh, being added. You can see uh, I've got this road path there as well. And I can do whatever, you know, add some plants, 
around just looks interesting looks nice and you can see that they, they're moving at different speeds and that's our that's our waterfall animation if you want to you can make it faster uh, and speed it up or you can add more frames to make the texture the animation a lot smoother uh, but I'd say that's pretty much it from me for this series it was a lot of fun I enjoyed it a lot and I'm looking forward to expanding on this and making a nice game out of it. And I guess a, I guess a tip I can leave you with on that is, I mean, just my suggestion anyway, is that whatever you're working on, work on something that you really enjoy. It doesn't, it's not about what uh, other people think of it. It's about what you like to work on, what you like to play. Focus on that first, because uh, that's your l highest likelihood of taking your project to completion. If you don't enjoy the thing that you're working on to begin with, if it doesn't excite you whenever you look at it, then it's probably going to be a bit of a chore for you to bring to completion. And that's not a good approach, uh, you know, in my opinion. I would say go and make something uh, that you do enjoy, that you find fun and interesting to work on and play. Uh, and in that case, then you'll be able to, you know, produce something you're happy about. And whatever, it, you know, whatever it is out there, there is an audience for everything. It might not be a giant audience. It might be very niche, whatever. The point is, is that if you like something, then there's going to be someone else out there who also likes it as well. And I guess that's uh, all I have on this. Uh, I hope to have a future series to show some more interesting things in Unity. Uh, maybe someday I need to make, you know, an introduction to Unity series. I've actually never done that. I think a, a truly, you know, beginner type that covers a whole lot of topics uh, that are useful. Uh, and I would like to do, I mean, I would like to do a multiplayer uh, tutorial series again. Uh, since there's been a, there have been a lot of changes in Unity and uh, everything that I've shown, uh, the, the two series GT GDS ones that I had at this time, they're both, they're both out of date now. So, uh, the remake even is also out of date. So anyway, I hope to get to that one day as well to show that it's pretty interesting. So I would say thank you for following along in this series. Uh, and I really do hope you the best of success in your project uh, go ahead on the unity forum when you're making your project go ahead and post it up there if you can make youtube videos of your project or your game go ahead and make that post it up and let people see what you're working on okay so thanks very much and it was great having you i hope i hope to see you in the future